Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another installment of Nerdy Wednesday. Last episode was just a bit of an update on uh, the, the latest version of Nerdio, um, which got really on Nerdio Enterprise Manager for Enterprise, which got released, which was 7.2.1, I believe. So this is a bit of an overview of, of what that entails, what the new updates are, and then just kind of showed how you can update that within your tenant as well. This week's going to be slightly different. Um, I want to go back to uh, image management, specifically how you can automate Windows patching on desktop images and session hosts. Um, so let's jump into Nerdio. Um, and from here, um, the first thing you need to do is, is go to your desktop image. So let's go to our desktop image. So this is my image, obviously it's turned off. And we want to run a script. So we're going to use the, the cool scripted actions and automation within, within there. Now, the first, what we're going to be able to cover with, with this is, you know, we're going to automate the patching, um, which is going to bring us quite a few key benefits like the security and compliance. Um, updates, the operational efficiency updates, consistency and reliability within our image and also it's going to minimize downtime if we automate this. Um, so first of all we want to automate Windows patching on the desktop image and, and re-image that host, we want to automate that process. So we go to our image, we do the script action, however we don't want it to run it now, we want it to run on a schedule, right? So we actually want to update Windows here, so let's just type in update there we go, and this is Windows 11, so I'm gonna click on that. Uh, and from here, we wanna make sure we um, we need to pass any AD credentials or we restart after the, the script execution. Um, but once we've selected that, we really need to give the schedule. Um, we don't wanna run now, we wanna run a schedule, as I said. So new schedule, don't know why I did that. Update. Windows, there it is again, Windows 11. So let's give it a name now. So, win, Windows dash patch dash schedule. Okay, give it a description, updating golden image. Uh, so what start date? Let's give it a start date of, yeah, give it a start date of tomorrow. Um, again, this is when, what time zone, obviously we're in, um, I'm in Sydney, so we'll leave it at that. I'd say let's start it, um, start at 11 p.m., right? Uh, we want to repeat monthly. Uh, so it's always the day of the week. Let's do it on a, let's do it on a Wednesday. Um, let's do it on the, so let's give it a week. Yeah, so let's do it on the third Wednesday of every month because that gives us a bit of time. Okay. Um, so once we've done that, um, we can save this. So then you can remove that current schedule if you want. So let's save and close now. Okay, so now we've um, set the Windows patching on the image. The next step is to um, capture the image or set the image. So we go to, say so we're still in the desktop image, you need to set as image. But we want to put this on a schedule as well. Um, so we need to set up the, the schedule creating the new image version essentially. This is what we're going to do now. So let's, um, so here we got, we can run any scripted actions we might want to do. Uh, we can we can do the application management. So this is the same, if you remember the video where I did the original image, it's, it's the same as that. Um, but what we want to do is we actually want to go to the schedule and turn this on. So this is the main thing we need to do here. So let's just say um, image hyphen um, patching. Um, uh, I'm going to do hyphen capture, right? <clears throat> uh, give it a description if you want. So demo of image patching schedule right so again let's set the date um so we did that to i can't remember what we did now i think we left it at 11 yeah we did 11 p.m didn't we so let's just do that at well it's a bit of a gap let's do it at 2 a.m okay um uh, repeat we're going to repeat it monthly let's do it monthly after patch tuesday 
um, and then you know how many days after should do one day after um, and we can leave a security type style leave everything else a standard and then we can essentially just um, again we can save current image as a backup um, or we can we can do all these if we want do anything we want then go further down leave it as we join if we want but we just want to save and close right so the final step is then to schedule session host re-imaging with the updated image right so that's set um let me just quickly go in and just look at the uh da, 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 da. look at the scripted action i created earlier uh is that schedule going to be there let's just have a look oh there is it on tasks no oh yeah uh schedule tasks no 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 let's go back to desktop images scripted action so there's a schedule already there. I want to go down here. I actually want to do, yeah, after patch Tuesday, one day. <clears throat> oh, it's changed that because I set the other one to, to one day as well. Um, okay, so we to, the, the final step, as I said, is to schedule session host re-imaging with the updated image. So we need to go to, once that's finished, let's go to the workspace. Um, and we're in the workspace let's go to click on that we want to manage and then from manage go to actually want to go to host and then resize re-image and again here we want to do a schedule right so we need to do a new schedule and here's where we can essentially um select the image not all images uh, so disabled by resource rules okay wonder why that is um, ah because it's not the um it's not the image for this is it static ones hybrid ah okay i've not created a host pool for this yet which is why essentially you'd go to the you'd go there uh, you'd go to the you'd go to the workspace you'd go to the host pool you'd go to manage um Go to host and you do the resize and re-image and here you'd essentially um, do it on a schedule you'd select the desktop image the vm size etc and again you do the schedule now i just forgot i created the i've created a desktop image but i've not set it to a schedule so once you once you do that that's where you can then save that and then that will run um so what i'll try and do is i'll try and i'll have to create um at some point i'll create an image from it and then i can set it on that but you get the gist of it that that's essentially how you create the um it's how you you manage uh your sort of um desktop image management that's how you kind of manage the auto updating on a schedule so essentially you don't have to um and that'll then that'll not only um that'll cap that'll up through the patching that'll capture the image and that will then deploy the new image to your session host so very very powerful um it's just just you know one of the one of the many things you can automate within uh, within Nerdio. So hopefully you've been able to follow that. I, I kind of I, that's one of the coolest parts about Nerdio for money is this sort of automation. And it's, it's something I I've shown to quite a few customers recently when it comes to the desktop auto image automation. So very, very powerful. So hopefully you've enjoying these Nerdio Wednesdays. They are going to be changing soon. Um, the, the the I hope by now the announcement's been made so you guys know, but I'm not going to say it just in case it hasn't. But there's a big announcement coming about me and someone else to do an audio, um, and there's going to be uh, audio Wednesday is going to be changing slightly. So uh, hopefully you can just look forward to that, and I'll be announcing it. I'll announce it close to the time when after the announcement audio make. But loads of useful links in my description, the links to the the Nerdio knowledge base, but also a link to my. Um, YouTube membership so if, if you are doing Microsoft certifications then you know you can join as a member what I'm thinking about doing at some point is Nerdio certification help as well uh, obviously Nerdio has loads of content I do some videos about the the you know helping people prepare for those exams as well so you can become a, a level one level two or level three member you get associate level fundamental level expert level exams all details are down below in the description so if you're not subscribed why not get subscribing as well I'm aiming for 100k I don't know i've not put a timer on it yet but you know it's only it's only august so let's see where we are by the end of the year uh, so thank you everybody for watching until next time goodbye